Uh, all right, so now let's move to the next uh, speaker. We have here Juan Carlos Hernandez Montes uh, from Mexico. Juan Carlos has been dedicated to popularizing astronomy for two decades now and is an advocate uh, for protecting the night sky in Querétaro. Querétaro. I hope this is <laughs> okay. Thank you from Mexico. And uh, his uh, his talk is titled "Activism Integration from Mexico." So, Juan Carlos, thank you so much for joining us. And uh, yes, so that's with you now. Thank you so much. I hope you guys can hear me very very good. I want to uh, show you a few pictures because this is a history of a journey that we are going. If you uh, have any issue, please interrupt me because I am showing the presentation. Is just to show you the history of a journey because we learned too much in the last uh, few years. This is me, 20 years ago, looking for dark places to look uh, uh, for telescope and to do the astronomy. Uh, in the past few years ago, there was no easy access to digital cameras or to cheap cameras. So there is no too much pictures of me working in that years in 2002. But well, you can see that I was looking for this passion since a lot of time ago. Um, now you can see in the screen, I, I don't know, let me see if I can hide the, um, the upper. If you don't see the upper uh, menu, it's okay, but uh, it's good. Then you can see uh, I uh, go to the I make a mem member we we made uh, with my friends we made a members of IDA in that time to Darska International now and I was surprised for the easy way to get access to the local authorities in the states you can see this uh, proclamation of this year and you can see some comments in the Slack when the people uh, declaring or saying that they was about to go to the local authorities in this case the council meeting and sometimes the city hall and I was surprised how easy was for all these guys to uh, get access to the local authorities I will jump uh, a little bit time at the end of this history just to show you something. We went to Chile uh, to the uh, Astrotourism Summit in Vicuña, Chile. And in this journey, we met three majors. Why? We saw in Chile that this country is very efficient, very efficient in the government. Why? Because they are they don't have federal states. They have direct contact between the mayors and the uh, central president, the central government of the country. So in this travel, in this journey that we made to Chile, we meet the uh, mayor of Picuña. We meet the mayor of uh, Paiwano, another small town close to Picuña, and another mayor. So what I want to tell you is we made, we are surprised of these countries of the states that you going to the um, to the city hall, I am surprised of Chile when you have access to all these out local authorities. And we said a few years ago in 2021, 20, uh, after the pandemic, we said, hey, we can do similar uh, effort to get close to the authority. So we founded this company, Astronight. We founded it's an astrotourism company, but focus on activism with focus on make awareness to the people, to the visitors. That's why this is very uh, innovation or is a very interesting concept of astronaut. So we started with the uh, local authorities. We started with the uh, municipality president. This is a visit that we made to, to the local um, ecology institute in Querétaro city. You can see the size of the government in Mexico. This is the city hall for Querétaro. And you can see it's huge compared with the city halls in Vicuña, the city halls in Paiwano, the city halls in the small, in the small, uh, in the countries with less people. So I was surprised of the efficiency of the of these countries. And I am now surprised of the big bureaucracy that we have in Mexico. So that's why I'm showing you this hard journey. This is another 
attempt another effort that I made with local politicians. This is a uh, working, this is a deputy or yes, a local congressman. And this is the uh, a judge when you, uh, you know, the, 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 the judgment uh, uh, power in, in, in the country. So these are politicians and uh, people working for the uh, local authorities. And I was trying to approach and say, guys, let's work together. And we reach something. This is uh, me, and this is my my friend uh, Frank from Astronite as well, working with the local Congress uh, women. Uh, we uh, issue with propose a new ecological or a new law, local law, in order to make uh, awareness of the uh, light pollution. You can see light pollution in the local laws of Querétaro. Uh, so this is good. But we needed to make the spread to we needed to spread the word. We needed to go further. So we start a campaign in the astronaut um, page, web page, to make highlight about the bad practices that we have in the region. You can see this a post of the of an industrial industrial park. You probably you know Querétaro is a, um, a, a, a hard power on aerospace industry. We myself, I, I myself work in an um, aircraft manufacturing plant. So this is the the local plant or the industrial installation, the industrial facilities, and you can see the violet and purple uh, external light. So we make public, we highlight to the to the general public this situation, and we communicate this to the local authorities and similar to the Peña de Bernal, to the big stone that we have monoliths that we have close to Querétaro. They, they was using blue light to make uh, this uh, night uh, spectacle or they, this night uh, lightning. So we uh, try to increase not only to social media approach, but we participate every year in the International Dark Sky Week in a small urban park that we have here in Querétaro, close to Querétaro, Joya La Barreta. And you can see this is 2022 when we bring some musicians and we made, uh, we share these uh, activities in the Slack. So you can see right there. And you can see that next year in 2023, we finally got uh, visits from the local uh, government, the uh, local, um, yeah, the local, the local, the, the uh, authorities of the city. So you can see here the park administrator, and uh, we have visit from the Institute of uh, Ecology. So this is a good, a good approach, a good uh, reach. But we see, we found something special that we needed to work together. So in the Slack, in the system of uh, International Dark Sky Association, the people the, in the channel of Spanish, we try to we made a team. We made a hey, guys uh, were uh, Spanish spoken who wants to go together, who wants to join a WhatsApp group, and we are working with thirty guys, uh, uh, Spanish and uh, Portuguese spoken, in order to. Uh, adapt and to adjust the strategy to the reality that we live. In this case, you know, the bureaucracy and the inefficiency in, in few uh, politicals and polit politicians' workflows. So we try to improve that working and founding this activity. We call it CODEFI, which is Defenders uh, or Advocators of the Dark Sky Community of uh, Dark Sky uh, Advocators Body in Spanish. So. In this team, we have uh, partners in Hidalgo, in Hidalgo, the, the, this guy, Eric Gomez and uh, Joshua, which are advocators, Joshua Munoz, they are advocators in Hidalgo, a town close to us. This is an estate, uh, and Pachuca is the town close to Querétaro. And we are working together to promote, to promote the, the activities. You can see Hidalgo uh, is the only state in Mexico uh, stating and issuing the, um, uh, the, the proclamation in this case, declaration is the proclamation from the state that they are aware and they promote the dark sky uh, defense. So this is a very good approach and very good uh, achievement from our friends in Hidalgo. Three hours, three hours uh, of uh, this is away from Querétaro in three hours by car. So it's very close uh, town that we are working together. You can see the local governments promoting the dark sky now at this level in Hidalgo. So I congratulate 
my friends uh, Eric and Joshua in Hidalgo for this very good uh, reach. We are following this, these steps, looking for the uh, government in Querétaro. But why I'm talking about Querétaro and Mexico? Why? Because Mexico is a huge country with a long history of astronomical uh, movement. You can see here, this is the... Uh, um, places where you can sleep in San Pedro Martir, in the Astronomical Observatory, National Astronomic Observatory in Baja California, where our Mexico chapter, uh, Fernando Avila, is working to promote the dark sky awareness. You can see the states and the rest of the world is full of defender of advocators and um, uh, delegates. And in Mexico, we just have the um, uh, Mexico chapter, Hidalgo that I already said, and Querétaro. Why? Because we need to spread more the work. Uh, we have uh, almost one, uh, 50, 150 million uh, inhabitants in, in, in Mexico. And look how uh, few people we are here working to promote. So we need to increase the, the reach. Now, you, you I already talked about Joshua in Hidalgo. We already work and finally certify the Joya La Barreta in Querétaro, but you can see they are both together in the center of Mexico. We have the rest of the country to spread the work. In the specific case of Querétaro, where I live, I am president of the Astronomical Society. We have 28 members, and this uh, month will be added uh, another uh, bunch, another batch of new members that will make the, 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 the evaluation. And we work in certified Joya La Barreta. As I said, this is a small park. We receive the, the very good uh, visit and very pleasant visit from Diana Umpier, who agreed and accepted to uh, be with us in this event. You can see the videos in the Slack. Uh, we share the videos of this event. And we was very happy to, get, to have this achievement in September. So a few days ago, we have a good uh, approach and a good achievement of this big journey, which was to start with activism and astrotourism, to go and visit Chile, to see a benchmark of how other countries are doing a very good job, and now having finally the certification of urban uh, night uh, sky place. And uh, I want to say thank you to Diana Umpier to visit us, to go with the local government. In this case, this is the Institute of Ecology, the representations of Institute of Ecology, universities, and the local administrator of the parks. So thank you again to Diana. So the next step, and just to finish, is we already have a date. Uh, we are at the appointment to go to the uh, state, to the state government with the tourism um, secretary in order to, to propose this consolidate uh, approach, which is, yes, the, activist, the activism, as we said, but to increase and to highlight Querétaro as an astrotourism destination, background with the with the backup of a good uh, media campaign that we are developing but all these will be the complete consolidate approach called Cielos Queretanos, which means uh, Queretaro Dark Sky. So we, this is uh, the, the, the strategy that we are doing. We are working of this, of is, if this uh, strategy were already done, but pushing hard over the authority to get more uh, engagement with them. So it's a long journey, it's a hard journey, and I want to thank you to International Dark Sky to supporting me with uh, the uh, coaching and with the, yes, all this information that we we have so thank you so much thank you guys thank you juan carlos thank you. Um, great to hear from you awesome experience lots of uh, achievements and uh, this is good that uh, you shared this with us so i'm sure that we are all in our countries learning uh, new experiences and how we can do things uh, similar and take next steps in our countries as well. So thank you so thank much you. for short, for sharing your your experience. Thank you so much. Enjoy your rest of your day, morning or night. I don't know. Depends on where you are. And uh, yeah, be safe. See you around. Thank you so much. Thank you. Bye bye. bye. Thank you.